you have written the previous class concept or uh, this one you have written this concept i took screenshots okay Okay, so if we uh, talk about definition, then it will be bank reconciliation statement is a statement which is prepared to know the reason. difference between balance of cash book and passbook. Okay. So this is our definition. Bank reconciliation is a statement which is prepared to know the reason behind difference between balance of cash and passbook. I told you yesterday or uh, in previous class, sorry, or uh, in previous class that when we prepare our cash book and bank prepare their passbook, okay, and uh, we receive a copy of passbook or bank statement from our bank, okay. Yeah. And when we tally our cash book and passbook, then sometimes we see a difference between the balance given in these two books, cash book and passbook. Okay. So whenever we see a difference between these two books, then we try to find out the reason behind the difference. We try to find out, oh, sorry, we try to resolve the differences. Okay. 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 Now, uh, your audio is working. No, sir. It is still problematic. Yes, sir. But I can hear you fine. Okay. So this is our bank reconciliation statement definition. And uh, one more thing, cash book is prepared by us. Uh, we cannot write us cash book is prepared by yes business owners organization you can write anything here and passbook is prepared by bank okay Now, the next point is reason for difference in balance. The first reason is time gap. Okay. Second reason is wrong entry in cash book. And third is entry in passbook only. Now, what does it mean? First of all, time gap. Actually, we have discussed this already, but uh, we are writing the theory part. So I need to explain. So time gap. First thing is when we do a transaction or sometime bank uh, do a transaction. Okay. So when we transact and 
pass the entry in our cache book. But that transaction will affect our passbook or that transaction will go to bank after some time. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So in that case, if we close our books in between that time, then there will be difference between our balances. Like we have entered a check that we issued to someone on 25th March, okay? And we are closing our books on 31st March, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, so if we have issued a check to someone, then we will deduct the amount on 25th, yes? Yes. Okay. And that check, uh, that, that person who has received the check will go to bank on, let's say, 10th April. Okay. In April. Yes, 10th. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, if uh, that person go to bank on 10th April, then on which day bank will pass the entry? On the date. The 10th April? 10th April, yes. So he will not pass on 25th? No, sir. Okay. And if he did not pass the entry on 25th, then on 31st March, his book will show the higher amount as balance and my book will show the lower amount as balance. Yes or no? Yes, sir. It is like this. Let's say uh, this is our timeline. Let's say this is 25th March. And this is 30th April. Now, on 25th March, our cash book and passbook balance is same. There's no difference. It is one lakh, one lakh. Okay. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Now, the this is 31st March and this is 10th April. Now, in uh, on this date, on this date, uh, passbook will decrease by the transaction, yes? Yes, sir. Okay. So, on 25th March, let's say the check value is 20,000. How much? 20,000. And we have given this amount to someone, 20,000. So we will reduce our cash book on 25th. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. But passbook will be same because there is no transaction in passbook in bank. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, on 31st March, how much balance in cash will be? 80,000. And in passport? 10,000. One lakh. Oh, yeah, one lakh. So, there is a difference? Yes, sir. Okay. On 10th April, cash book balance will be? 80,000. 80,000. And passbook balance will be? 1 lakh. Not 1 lakh. On 10th yeah. April, bank has received the check. So, he will deduct the amount also. 
Okay, yes, I told you that the transaction, uh, the person go to bank on 10th April. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if he go to the bank on 10th April, then bank will also reduce his balance by 20,000 on that date. Yes. But we have closed our books on 31st March. So there will be a difference between these two. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And when we try to find out what we will find that there is a check we have deducted from our cash book, but it is not uh, given in bank or it is not withdrawn from the bank. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. So this is the reason. This is a reason for difference between cash book and pass book. Okay? Okay, sir. So you can see here that uh, the, on cash book, sorry, in cash book, it is deducted on 25th March. In passbook, it is deducted on 10th April. The balance becomes the same on 10th April, but on 31st March, it is not same. Why? Because there is a time gap between the two transactions. Yes? Yes, sir. So this is called time gap. Is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Now, the second is wrong entry in cash. I also told you in previous class that bank generally don't uh, do some any mistake. Yes? Bank don't do any Yes. Yes. Because they, the process of their transaction is through two persons or three persons. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's why uh, generally bank does not do any mistake or bank, you can say, does not commit any mistake. So who will make mistake then? Us. Us, the business person. Okay, sir. And we will do mistake in cash book or passbook. On cash book. In cash book, because we prepare cash book. So, uh, the wrong entry in cash book will also create difference between cash book and passbook balance. Is this clear? Yes. Sir. The third is, can you read the third one? Entry in passbook only. Okay. Now there are some transaction which is passed in passbook. We don't know about that transaction. So we will not record these type of transaction in our cash book until we will receive the information. Yes? Yes, sir. Can you tell me any one example of these type of transaction? Um, when, when entry is recorded twice, I guess. Um, Twice? Yes, sir. Twice. Wrongly. So it will be categorized in second. Wrong entry in cash book. Oh, all three of them? No, no. I am just asking for third one. Oh, for the third one. Entry in passbook only. Mm. And there is bank involved. No, sir, I can't find anything. Okay. So the transaction is when bank give us the interest or bank deduct some uh, charges from our account. Okay. Huh? I am saying that bank will charge 
some uh, commission or bank charge from our account or bank has given us some interest. Yes. Okay. So in these two cases, if you see, in these two cases, bank will pass the entry in their passbook, but we will not know until we see the passbook. Okay, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or uh, let's take another example. Let's say uh, one of our customer go to the bank and deposit the amount payable directly. Okay, he didn't tell us. He forgot to tell us. Okay. Okay, sir. So in that case, transaction will be entered in passbook but we will not know about it so it won't be entered in cash book yes and so it will know. create a difference oh, okay, sir. if it is entered in cash uh, passbook and it is not entered in cash book then it will create the difference yes or no yes so that's why these three are the reason for difference in balances okay Now, how we prepare the bank reconciliation state? So there is a format we have to prepare. Uh, I also told you in previous class, there is four types of balance. Four types of yes. balance. Four types of balance in bank reconciliation statement. You don't remember? No, sir. You have not written this. You uh, told me that you have taken already a screenshot. Oh, those four. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, so tell me the four types of balance. Okay, sir. Cash book, debit side, positive or favorable? No, no, no. no. You have to tell me the sentence that will be written. Sentence? Yes. Okay, uh, you don't remember. Let me clear this. You can see the things here. It will be written as debit balance as per cash book. Okay. Okay, sir. Debit balance as per cash book. Or instead of debit, it will be written as positive balance as per cash book. Or favorable balance as per cash book. Anything can be written. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, one more thing here. Mm -hmm. This is also called overdraft. Here also. Okay. Please write this. Uh, don't take a screenshot. Please write this.
John? No, Answer. Okay, so now it can be called uh, in credit balance, it will be set credit balance as per cash book or negative balance as per cash, unfavorable balance as per cash book or overdraft balance as per cash book. Okay. Okay, sir. So there can be any sentence that will be given in portion. So you have to remember this that debit balance of cash book is always positive or favorable. Same with the credit balance as per past. So uh, both of these are opposite. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, how to solve the portion. So we have to prepare a format. This format you can see format of bank reconciliation statement. Bank reconciliation statement. as the date in then particular and amount. You have solved some portion of bank reconciliation statement, yes? Yes, sir. Okay, so what I have already uh, told you in the class, you have already studied this, everything. Yes, sir. About these four types of balance? Yes, sir. Teacher taught me, sir, but I did not listen to Why? Sir, sir because she, she goes so fast. Okay. And you understand here? Yes, sir. Okay. So debit balance as for cash flow. And uh, it will be here in final amount column. It is not debit credit. You have to remember this. This is not debit and credit. Yes. The, the last amount column is final amount and the inner amount column is for calculation purpose. So debit balance as per cash book, then you will add some item here, which should be added and we will less some item also. After that, you will find Okay, so after that, we will find the final balance here. After adding some item and deducting some item, okay? So the balance will be called, whatever you see here, okay? It will be just opposite of this. So if it is written here, debit balance, then we will write here, what
Yes. So can you repeat again, sir? If it is written, uh, okay. Whatever written in the beginning of this bank reconciliation statement, we will write just opposite at the end. Okay. Okay. So if it is written debit balance here, then in the end, what will be written? Debit balance as per passbook. Yes, very good. Credit balance as per passbook. Now, what will be added and deducted? For this, uh, there is So, yes, for this, we have to go through some understand. Okay. Now, there are some type of transaction which is, uh, which will create difference between cash book and passport. So we have to know the reason behind those entries and we have to write those items in add or less side. Okay. Yes, so first of all, take first item, check issued, but not presented for payment. Okay. Check issued. This is your cash book. And this is your passport. This is for working books. Okay. This is not a part of solution. This is for just for you working. You don't have to show it along with portion. Okay. 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 So cash book balance is given, passbook balance is given, and you have issued check to someone and he uh, not presented the check in bank for payment. Okay. So tell me where it will affect our transaction. It will affect our cash book or passbook. So can you repeat the question again, sir? Okay, so the question is check issued but not presented for payment. We have given check to someone and he uh, did not reach the bank to withdraw the money. Okay, sir. Okay, so check issued but not presented for payment. So where will be the impact in cash book or passbook? Passbooks. Okay. What is the impact on passbook? Because it's not presented to the bank. Okay. No, actually the impact is on cash book. Okay, sir. Why is that? Yes. Because if it is not presented in bank, then there will be no difference in the bank balance. Yes? In passbook. Yes, yes sir. So what is the impact? No impact. But if we have issued the check, then we have already recorded it in our cash book. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So it will be, uh, it will affect our cash balance, cash book balance or not? It will affect our cash book balance. Yes. So impact is on? Us. I mean the business. Cash book. Cash book. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So impact is on cash book. Okay. Now what will be the impact? Increase or decrease? Increase. If you give someone check, then it will increase your balance. Oh, no, 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 sir. It will decrease from us. Sir. Yes. So cash book is decreasing. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Or you can write it like this. Cash book is decreasing. Okay, sir. But passbook is same. There is no difference? No, sir. No difference. So now what we have to do to make sure that both of these will be equal, the cash book and passbook? Okay. Okay, let me take a mount. You will understand by taking it. 
let's say cash book balance is 1 lakh pass book balance is also 1 lakh okay okay sir check amount is 10000 so it is decre decreased from cash book so the balance is 90000 yes yes sir and there is no impact on pass book so the balance is 1 lakh yes sir now what we have to do to make these two same We have to add it in the past. I mean, did minus it also? We have past. to. We have two options. Yes, sir. Either add ten thousand here. Yes. Yes, sir. Or deduct ten thousand here. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what should we do? We should deduct ten thousand from passbook. Deduct. You have already studied this chapter, but yes. it is yes, but it is not clear to you. Yes, sir. Okay. Now this is what the problem uh, problem area you can say. We have to adjust the item, adjust the cash book or passbook. Okay. Only one. And we have to choose uh, that side which is given as balance. Should I repeat? Yes, sir. Yes, we have to choose the option, the balance which is given in portion. Not okay. clear? No, sir. What balance is given in question? This balance oh, will be given in quotient. Okay, sir. So if your starting point is cash book, then you have to adjust the cash book only here. You will add the 10,000 in cash. Book, so it will become 1 lakh. You will not do anything Here. Okay, sir. So there will be zero here. So total balance is equal. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now there is a shortcut. You don't have to write anything in uh, this technique. You have to take this two hands as your balance. Okay, cash book and passbook. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, uh, if we issue a check to someone, then our cash book will decrease. Uh, yes, sir. And passbook will remain same. Yes, sir. So we have two options: either to increase cash book or decrease passbook. Yes. Yes, sir. But we have to choose the balance which is given in the portion. Yes, sir. And in this question that I am solving, which balance is given? Cash book balance. Cash book. So we have to increase our cash book to make it equal. Yes? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so for increase means add. Okay, sir. So we will write here check issue. But not presented for payment. Which one you think is easy for you to write this as balance and to use your hand for solving the question? Using my hands. It is very easy. Yes. Generally, uh, all the students, all the teacher use it, okay, uh, because it will make the question easier to understand. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, uh, if I give you a question here, then you have to tell me which side it will be written, add or less. 
Okay, sir. So, direct deposit by custom. Direct deposit by customer into our bank. Direct deposit by the customer into our bank. It will increase our passbook. It will increase our passbook. Okay. Yes, sir. So, but what we have to do? We have to increase our pass. We have to increase our pass. They and not, not eat, no, sir, no, sir. In the in the plus side, in the cash book, we have to increase. I mean, in, yes, yes, we have to add. Yes, sir. yes. So it will be. Direct deposit by customer. Okay. Okay, sir. Now. The third one. Check deposited but not cleared. Check deposited means you have received check from someone and you have deposited it in your bank. Okay, so. But it is not cleared means? Yes. It is not cleared? Yes, it is not cleared. What does that mean? Sir? It means it is not collected by bank. Oh, okay. It would okay. also increase. Okay. Let's see. Direct deposit. Uh, first of all, direct deposit. Direct deposit means passbook will increase. And we will increase cash book also. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, in check deposited, the impact will be on our cash book. Yes? Yes, sir. And what will be the impact? Increase or decrease? Increase. Increase, yes. When we deposit the money in our bank or check in our bank, then our cash book will increase. We will increase our cash book, yes? Yes. And the next step is to make it equal. So, yes. We decrease it. We decrease the cash book, means yes. minus. Yes, sir. So it will be on the minus. Check deposited, but not cleared or collected. So the amount will be in the inner column. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, sometime dividend collected by bank. Dividend collected by bank. So it will increase our passbook. So we will increase our cash book also. What does dividend mean? Dividend means share in profit of company. Okay, sir. Uh, you know about share. When uh, some company is registered on a stock exchange, they sell their share on this that stock exchange and you can purchase it also. Okay, anyone can purchase it. So if you purchase a share in a company, then you have some part of ownership in that company. And that's why company give some share in their profit to the shareholder. 
Okay. It is called dividend. So dividend collected by bank means uh, you have received some money in your account. Okay, sir. Okay, so if money is deposited in your account, then your passbook will increase. So you have to increase your cash. Now, interest given by bank, sometime bank give you the interest, interest given by bank. Okay. Okay, sometime bank charge commission. So bank charge or commission. It is also called incidental charges. So you have to remember this. Bank charge commission. After that, payment of insurance premium. Okay, so these are the entries on the ad side. Now, all these items on the ad side will be added and written it outside. Again, all the less item will be added here, three items added and written it here in final column. Now, in this amount, we will add this because this is total of ad side. So that's why we are adding this. And this is total of less side. So we are deducting this. Then we will get the final balance. Final balance. And it will be called credit balance as per past. Now tell me, is this clear? Okay. I will do some questions at home. Then I will be clean. Okay. And uh, you understood this part that much by theoretical means? Uh, yes, sir. Kind of. Okay. So when we will solve some question, then it will be more easy for you. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is format. Uh, you want to prepare this or you have already in your notebook. I have already in my notebook, sir. We've done it okay, in so, my okay, No problem, then you don't have to write this. Okay, so this is our debit balance as per cash. Now, if uh, actually we don't have enough time to solve a portion, otherwise I will, let me see. Okay, there is a small question given here. Let me solve this question, then you will understand. It is question number two. I'm also reading the question. Okay, so bank reconciliation statement. As on 31st March 2019,
and this bank re reconciliation statement is related to Ramesh. So this particular, this is inner amount column. This is final amount. Column. Now, first of all, in this portion, it is said that Ramesh has his account at Punjab National Bank. So he has uh, one account in Punjab National Bank, Delhi. According to his cash book, his bank balance on 31st March 2019 was 72,950. So balance as book, cash book is given. Debit balance as book, cash book. 72,950. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. So it is said that according to his cash book, uh, his bank balance was seventy two thousand nine. He sent check for rupees ninety thousand seventy five rupees to his bank for collection, but check amounted to forty three seven sixty nine were not collected by that date. Means. The check is sent for deposit, but it is not collected by them. So what will be the impact? If we record the check that we have sent into bank, it will increase our cash balance. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Then we have to decrease it to make it equal. Mm, okay, sir. So check deposited but not collected now you have to remember one thing here that whatever not collected or deposited okay or you can say whatever not presented for payment we will record only that part in any transaction okay if it is already completed means let's say we have issued a check to someone and he has already withdrawn the money. Then there will be no entry for this. Yes? Yes, sir. Not here? No, sir. Okay. We have issued a check to someone. Okay. So we have recorded it in our cash book. Yes? Yes, sir. And that person has withdrawn the money from passport. Yes? Yes, sir. So, bank has also recorded this? Yes, sir. So, it will be increased. So, no, no. There will be no increase, decrease. So, I have uh, I have already recorded the transaction and bank have already recorded the transaction. Yes? Yes, sir. So, if we both have recorded the transaction, it will create any difference or not? It won't create any difference. So that's why we will not record the transaction because it is not creating the difference. What is uh, we are writing here? The reason behind difference. Yes. Yes, sir. And if there is no difference, then what is the reason to write it? No reason to write it. Yes. So we will not record the transaction, which is recorded in both of the books, cash book and passbook both. Yes, sir. Okay. So in this portion, it is said that he sent check for 90,075. He sent check for 90,075. And it is said that check amounted to rupees 43,769 not collected. not collected yes yes sir. so we will record the transaction which is not collected if it is collected then we don't have to don't then have don't... to record it okay sir. okay again 
if let's say one portion is saying that you have deposited 50,000 in bank, yes? Yes, sir. And 30,000 is collected. Then which amount you will take? 30,000. 30,000? 30, it is incorrect. Yes, we will take 20,000. But 30,000 was taken. You can see 50,000 is deposited, but 30,000 is collected already. And it is collected, so there is no difference due to this transaction. Yes? Yes, sir. So I told you already that transaction or amount which is not collected, which is not deposited, will be recorded in bank reconciliation statement. Okay, sir. Clear or not? Clear, sir. Okay. So in this transaction that is given in portion, this is not collected. So we will write this amount. 43,769. After that, out of the check issued by him in payment of his debts, check for 29,344 were not presented for payment. So we have issued check, but not presented for payment. So check issued, but not presented for payment. Okay. So when we issue check, it will in, uh, decrease our cash. Yes. Yes, sir. So now we will increase it. Okay. Sir. So it is 29,344. There is only one item. That's why I'm writing in the final column. If there is two or three, then we have to calculate the total and then write it. Okay. Sir. So four, nine, two, To one lakh two thousand two ninety four, and here it is forty three seven sixty nine. Five, Fifty eight thousand four twenty five debit balance as per cash book means credit balance as per passbook. Tell me, is this clear? Yes, sir. Now you understood how to solve the question. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is our first part, first balance of passbook. There is four types of balance, so we have to solve by each one of them. Okay.